What is the heaviest tank that ever existed? Light, medium, heavy, super heavy. What about the heaviest? The Panzer Mouse was 188 tons. What if I could make a tank that is even heavier than that? And what a better nation to do it other than New Zealand. The story goes like this. The New Zealanders were afraid of a Japanese invasion and their equipment was more, well, traditional. Bolt action rifles, maybe a few SMGs, barbed wire, nothing too advanced. So the New Zealand government in 1942 created its own military tank development with the very little equipment they had available to them. And that tank that was designed was the Bob Semple. Corrugated iron plates, riveted to the hull, no turrets, and two 3.3 inch Bren light machine guns on each side. Basically, a kind of a machine gun tank. Can you even call it a tank? Because it's technically just a tractor with corrugated metal on the outside. But never mind the Bob Semple. There is the fictional Super Bob Semple. Oh, look at this baby. Oh my goodness. Now that is a thing of beauty. What if we took a regular Bob Semple and then scaled it up 10 times? Would it be effective? Let's find out. Military factories are currently being built. We are preparing, preparing, preparing for the war. Whoa. Speaking of war, Warhaven is a free-to-play medieval combat simulator where depth and player choice are key. With the game easy to pick up, but best of all, hard to master, where you will take your experience combat into intense 12v12 PvP battles alone or with your friends. Wait, I have no friends. You get to select six unique classes and with supernatural warriors known as the Immortals, it could all of a sudden turn the tide of battle. Whether you choose to work as a team or you decide to do this solo, Warhaven offers choices for all types of players and play styles. Experience the super fast gameplay when the battle commences on the 20th of September at 6 p.m. PDT. But in the meantime, you can dive into the unique deep world and characters on the Warhaven website. So make sure you wishlist Warhaven on Steam using my link in the description and I will see you, fellow soldier, on the battlefield. Thanks Warhaven for sponsoring this video. Let us begin. All right, and that's it. There's not a lot to do as New Zealand because she's not got a lot to work with. So let's go. Oh, and Britain wants to send us rifles. Well, that's awfully convenient. You know what? I think I'll train a few more divisions. Not because I want those divisions, just because I want to bait the UK into sending me more guns. Completed the first Labour government for New Zealand, followed by Into the Darkness. Every British person can relate to this. Here we go. The Bob Semple tank. Why shouldn't New Zealand have its own tank? The Minister of Works in Tumuka is developing a light tank armed with light machine guns. Even if we never get beyond the prototype, the experience we'll gain will be invaluable. Adds the Bob Semple tank, which grants division organization and defense on core territory. Amazing. Execute the New Zealanders' greatest weapon, the sheep farms. I love how some nations have like these massive tank programs and some nations want to build the heaviest battleship in the world and uh, New Zealand just gets sheep. Nice. Never mind. They redeem themselves. We've got steel now. Fuel for the war industry. Oh, I bet you didn't know this, but New Zealand, they have a colony. Samoa. There you go. No matter how insignificant, how minor of minor nations, New Zealand, you can have colonies. Begin the tank research, starting with the heavy one. No, we don't want the heavy one. We want the super heavy, but we got to work down that way. So we're coming. Oh. Whoa, what? Ethnic minorities? Oh yeah, better build bridges with those because that could cause problems later on. When New Zealand has the best infrastructure in the world. Public transport? Completed it, mate. The CCW, the Christchurch workshops. Getting 5% armor, heavier. America's like, fuel the military industrial complex and New Zealand's like, uh, welfare? And it's pretty OP too. 2% 2 recruitable pop. That's really good. What, 2% recruitable? How about another 7%? This one is coming oh. and this one soon. What? 2%? How about another 2%? Where is this manpower coming from? Maori unlocking magical manpower powers. Nice. Big? Yeah, a little bit. Squeeze as much infantry in there as we can. It's really important you work on disperse or concentrated industry as New 
New Zealand because you run out of building slots really quickly. Convert. I rarely do this, but sure. It is time. The big Bob tank. Battlefields of Europe are calling for heavier armor to compete with the super tanks of our enemies. The big Bob will be New Zealand's contribution to the design effort. By the way, this is completely fictional. It allows you to get the research for super heavy tanks two years earlier. So yes, we will do that. Showing their patriotism. Hundreds of Maori are stepping up to volunteer for service in the New Zealand army. Okay, this gives you one division. Don't get too excited. But the biggest bonus is you can request control of Pacific Islands. This is mad OP. Okay, this button's really important for New Zealand too. You know the button you never really care about because you never run out of building slots? Well, it actually matters for New Zealand. When are you going to give extra states to New Zealand, PDX? Huh? Give some love to the little guy, all right? New decisions. Request control of the Pacific Islands from France and also the UK. France accepts. I forgot this event even existed. Boom, boom, boom. New islands, new building slots. Australia accepts. Hey, we get a Maori division and it can't be deleted. Uh, uh, paradox, why? The islands of New Zealand. You know, I, I like that they added this to the game. This is nice flavor. It's something to do as a minor nation, which usually can be a bit boring. You know, one thing's going to be certain is we're going to have supply problems. So just take care of this now, okay? They're super heavy for a reason, okay? Okay, so getting across the ocean is going to be a problem. We have no Navy. No joke. We have no Navy. So let's just kind of get to Egypt now before the action starts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. The super heavy tank chasse. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Can you remember the generic focus tree that gave you one civilian factory for one semi-day focus? Look at what New Zealand gets. Four factories for one semi-day focus. I changed my mind. Paradox loves New Zealand. New Zealand's thrunk. War on our doorstep. And that also means Italy is here. And we're going to have to build some supply here because the AI won't do that. The beauty of taking the Pacific Islands is now we have more building slots. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, but we're New Zealand. Don't forget that. And we begin the first bullet fired by the New Zealanders. And how are we doing so well? <laughs> we don't even have tanks yet. I kid you not. This is the division we're using. It's just infantry. Okay, that Maori division, the one that is just under equipped. I kind of want to send it on an adventure. The transport on this particular route has a 100% chance of being detected and intercepted. Good. Okay, Maori division is gone. Respect to the Maori. Seriously, no disrespect to the Maori. I just don't like the fact that that division can't be deleted. F. It's here! The super heavy chasse. Oh, okay, Michael Joseph Savage has died. Now we have the thinking man. And here we are. Super heavy chasse. And we need to make it the heaviest it can possibly be. So super heavy cannon. Oh, look at it. So it's got one main turret here, but it's also got like a secondary turret on the back. So let's put a secondary on it. Small cannon on the back. Armor skirts. Why not have more armor, right? Sloped armor. Why not? Doesn't look very sloped, but you know what? We're trying to make it the heaviest it can be, okay? And top it off. Uh, why not additional machine guns? Because I mean, look, it's got machine guns on the side so why not i've just realized there's a bug there can you see that in the distance there's like a part of the model that's there <laughs> What is that? FIFA gaming in the spare time being a book tester for Paradox. Cast armor. You know what? Well, why not? And then just slap on as much armor as we can get. All the armor. And then we need an engine big enough so it can move. Oh my goodness. That reliability isn't good though. Okay, maybe less armor. We're going to have to work on more advanced engines. Oh, we've even got an image for it as well. Look at that. Big Bob. Build them, boys. And look at the production cost. Ow, ow. We will produce one of these in about six months time. That's my entire economy. Me. <laughs> I'll make these. They're too expensive. I don't even understand. Why are they so expensive? Okay, one of these turrets is five tungsten and two chromium. All right, okay, we're gonna have to do something about that. So in that case, we're gonna have to go for the improved small cannon. <laughs> it doesn't feel appropriate, but you know what? Forget it. We've got to keep the cost down and then uh, we'll go rivet for the time being. We're gonna get heavier, all right? But for the time being, we have to start kind of small. The production cost now doesn't require tungsten. It just requires steel. Okay, there we go. Okay, it was just the turret. The turret is so resource heavy. That's insane. The first tank has rolled off the production line. Okay, we don't need trains anymore. We don't need artillery anymore. Probably not going to need motorized anymore. Right, the super heavy tank, which in the latest beta patch should be a patch that should be out now. 
is now a support company, which is just way more convenient in my opinion. However, one of these requires 20 tanks. So we're going to need 60 of these. And this will give us an armor of 61, which is, now I think about it, kind of impressive. So let's go. The first super heavy boys. Well, haven't arrived yet. We're still waiting for them. There it is. The first one. A gigantic vehicle capable of mounting the heaviest armor and the biggest of guns. Well, not the biggest gun on this one, but consequently fairly slow and unreliable. How dare you? Four left, two left one left boys are ready fully supplied super heavy tank chassis moving forward oh i'm excited about this will this be devastating or will this be so underwhelming being the fact that they're using small cannons i'm not optimistic let's just see what we do bang out some doctrines why not the high command of new zealand sitting down planning the push into the italians here almost ready and here they go the first assault has happened the guns are firing anti-air support no piercing is happening here and just the overwhelming manpower of the in this case the ethiopian leader he's holding us back but luckily we're doing actually decent damage though i think we need artillery here there's just not enough soft attack yep 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 hey listen we did some decent damage okay and we ended up losing four super heavy tanks three to attrition <laughs> three of them broke down and then one of them was actually taken out in combat nice the spirit of the new zealand the spirit of the kiwi the maori push push we're actually winning what the oh my god we pushed them back keep going whoosh pushing into mountains with super heavy tanks i love it okay show's over i don't want to get encircled oh tabrak has fallen whoosh supply is open up let's go 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 scratch that we don't even need the armor anymore we've got welded now so all guns blazing small cannon small cannon small cannon the land battleship the comparison tool i never usually use this so the last model had 22 soft attack this one has 36 just because of all the cannons nice the new zealanders helping close the pocket oh the encirclement in benghazi oh my goodness shrek on to the next port go 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 and every time we push into the italians we just come completely decimate them we've not even added the artillery on yet we were planning to but we never got a chance to do it we're just using this this is it you know i'm gonna take a guess that we've lost more of these to attrition than we have through combat yep <laughs> 93 lost to attrition four to combat well the italians haven't even got the equipment to knock them out just think about that for a second how would they actually physically knock them out they would have to like somehow get really close and like throw a grenade into one of the arrow slits that's the only way they could do it because they don't have any anti-tank equipment to get through the armor so yeah oh this is amazing fighting a german panzer there for a second oh we're gonna take tripoli yeah yeah one division come on you can do it one division break them out oh the reinforcements oh they're so annoying when that happens okay we're gonna have to build a port here and they've been broken I, I don't lie to you i hate the fact that you can build ports but you can't destroy them so now we're looking at these absolutely awful ports Ugh, it's not pretty let's help the greeks the greeks are falling put a few divisions on athens they'll be able to hold i believe i'm not gonna lie i've been in this situation before you push all the way to the south of greece and then you just can't take athens because it's just it's like a supply bottleneck i feel the frustration the ai must be feeling right now right i've added the artillery on super heavy infantry tank yes a land battleship versus 10 divisions by italy and germany and oh okay so initially it looks like we're losing and then then are we winning? I don't even know. Yeah, we're actually are breaking them. Oh, wait, no. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. I think we might win this. And we have. <laughs> and once again, another push and just demolishing them. I'll admit the soft attack on this division now is making a lot of difference. It's doing most of the weight. So the beauty of having the super heavy tank as a support brigade instead of a battalion is it doesn't suffer from the big penalties for like crossing rivers and forests and mountains. You get all the firepower, but not the penalties that you would normally get with a super heavy tank. That is actually really cool. And we close the pocket. Italy. Oh, how embarrassed must you be? I think it might be time to stretch our legs and yeah, push into the hills. You see, the area this which i thought wasn't going to work is when i tried to push into difficult terrain types i'd fail miserably but i realized i just don't experience any difficult terrain at all and to be honest with you it's just a complete cakewalk and i thought super heavy tanks were going to be useless but they're actually really really good well i was wrong i learned something new there we go america's joined the war i'm gonna ask them for pacific islands which is just an absurd thing to ask for because we're asking them to give away the state of hawaii well it's not a state in this point but there we go <laughs> i control all of this now <laughs> 
<laughs> so stupid. Well, firepower isn't the problem anymore. We can attack, we can push, but there's just too many divisions. So uh, come on, allies, pull your finger out. Okay, this is becoming a bit of a grind. Nothing good has ever happened in the Balkans, and I think uh, I think this is living proof of it. Let's try something different. Yes, right about here. Okay, this was way easier to plan than I originally thought, and that was a little bit too easy. Don't tell me this is going to work. It looks like it's going to work. Wait, no, yeah, no. Okay, maybe no. You know the most beautiful thing about this naval invasion? Look at the color of Sicily. This is New Zealand conquests. Oh, I even got a citation. Reduce supply by 50%. Uh, we'll go for the recovery. You can just imagine this right now. The super heavy tanks in New Zealand rolling across the mountains. Oh, it looks like we have to do the classic strat of uh, naval invading around them. And... <laughs> It's too easy. Oh, look at this. Two heavy tank versus medium panzer. Why does it look like... Oh, I think that's an Italian tank. Ugh. It is. It's a medium tank, but it's not an Italian one. It is a German one. It looks like an anti-air tank. Okay, I better do what I normally do then. Build a port. Squeeze from the other side. You can do it. Oh, my goodness. This is disgusting. Disgusting. I love it. Oh, and then another encirclement. Oh, this is disgusting. Ding. New Zealand, what happened to you? You used to be one of the good guys. And we are no longer the dominion of New Zealand. We are now New Zealand. Just New Zealand. And that means we can do research collaboration. For some reason, we couldn't do that before. I don't know why. Boosh. Oh, my damn. How quickly I ripped through them. I do think there's something a little bit broken by this, that I can just walk over these divisions like they're absolutely nothing. And the fact that these are tanks that can barely move over rivers or mountains, but yet I'm just absolutely flattening everything. Listen, I'm not complaining, okay? I'm just saying disgusting. Do you know what else is really disgusting? That New Zealand gets six. That's right, six research slots. I, I don't even know what to research anymore. Uh, machine gun carriers? Fuel? Rockets? Well, I said we were going to do it, and we were going to make the heaviest of the heaviest. So it has to be heavier than the mouse, right? So super heavy cannon, and then we just slap on as much extra armor as we can. I mean, all the armor. But then we need the the heftiest engine ever to make this go. I don't think this is even possible. But the armor is 269. Nice. Now, I want you to mentally imagine this. Just imagine this tank trying to go up any hill that's just, like the slightest incline. It ain't going, all right? This thing can only go downhill. It's technically a soapbox. Ugh. <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. Six divisions now. How long can we maintain this for, though? That's the question. Ah, uh, for quite a while. 22,000 guns. We have more guns uh, than we have manpower, which is just silly if you think about it. Rome! Boom. Most historical Italy game. Boom! So the losses. Everyone wants to know this, right? Over the last 12 months, lost 249 to them breaking down. It's again, surprise, surprise. And then 42 were lost in actual combat. Once again, I love a breakdown. How did that happen? I want to know. Boom! Germany... No more. New Zealand colony in Libya? I'll take that. Hang on a second. This one land would have been given to Italy anyway. Oh, that was a waste of points. On the plus note, I get 55 ships. <laughs> I have a navy. One minute, no navy. Next minute, probably one of the top 10 biggest navies in the game. Nice. Return to the war in Asia. And, uh, oh yeah, this is why we don't fight here. Oh, oh dear. Well, might as well join in and, uh, clean up. See USA, you could do this without nukes. Take Japan's navy. Oh no, never mind. Contribution is 0%. Yeah, we're not taking much. When I say much, well, that's not quite true. We took a little bit of land. Just a little bit of land. Oh yes, just a little bit of land. Unite Polynesia with the islands of Hawaii, Anatori, and Tahiti, and Samoa under our control. We may be able to unite all Pacific peoples. I pronounce those perfectly, okay? No one in the comment can disagree. Don't disagree. Boom. Look at this. United Polynesia. Peter Frazier has proclaimed that the country shall now be known as the Pacific Federation and is the rightful home of all Pacific peoples. And all the colonists must leave. <laughs> Joke. No, it's a multicultural society. Oh, actually, just actually say at the bottom, the Pacific Federation has become a model nation for post-colonial multiculturalism. Wow, it's something like I almost knew what the tilt it was going to say. Doesn't seem like a lot, particularly with all the islands. But I get 200k manpower out of nowhere, so who could complain, right? Well, I promised you the heaviest tank possible. And there we go. There it is. The max armor, max research, max everything. Gas turbine engine. Well and truly, very, very heavy. Now we build 
just one of them. There you go. Very fat, very strong, very powerful, uh, but no one can afford to build them. Well, definitely not New Zealand anyway. Done. One video. No, two videos. This is the video for you right here. Click it.